Hi everyone, it's Kirchi. I have found another Rement set to add to my collection, and this one is extra special because it's Sanrio. This is called Rilakkuma Happy Little Book. They are cute little storybooks. They look so adorable, and of course we have the Rilakkuma character, this cute little bear, and this time I'm pretty confident that I'm gonna get all the different sets. The last time I unboxed a Rement set, which was My Little Fairy Cosme, I thought that all the pieces were exactly the same because the packaging was very misleading. So when I opened it all and realized that I did get all the different ones, I was so excited. And so with this one, I did have a worry at first that they were all gonna be the same because of what happened with the other set that I opened. But now I am pretty sure that they're all different on the packaging, all the different ones are here. So let's open it up and take a look. This is the Rilakkuma Happy Little Book by Rement. There are six of them. They look like this, so they're little books, and on the inside we have Rilakkuma and a bunch of different cute accessories. I'm gonna go ahead and cut the seal right over here. In my first Rement unboxing, I actually threw away the box and my dad messaged me because he's also a collector. He collects trains and cars. He asked me why I didn't keep the box and he was kind of cringing a little bit because I just threw the whole thing away. As cute as the box is, it's not really all that valuable to me. All that matters to me is the inside. And it also depends, of course, for the Polly Pocket ones, I keep the boxes. But this is just one of those display boxes that are meant to look like this over here. I'm not really into that and it doesn't look super great displayed. So this box will go in the recycling. But he's so cute. So here we go, I'm going to open this. They look so cute and cozy in there. I'm gonna take one and start opening it. Let's start with this one right here. This is a pretty long box. You can see how deep it is in there. Here it is, it looks very, very cute. So all of these boxes have the same design. If you've seen my first Rement unboxing of the My Little Fairy Cosme, then you know how stressed I was when I thought that I was gonna get the same thing because the packaging design was all the same, but they all turned out to be different, so I can be confident that these are different too. Before I open this, because I am going to recycle the packaging, I just wanna appreciate how cute the design is. Of course, it's Japanese and their designs are very kawaii, very cute, very soft pastels. As a designer, I really, really appreciate that and that comes off a lot in my personal style when I design stuff. It looks like these are fairly new. They came out in 2019. This gives me hope and I hope that they release more of these because these are really, really adorable. I'm also more of a Hello Kitty fan than a Rilakkuma fan, but my sister does love Rilakkuma, so here you go, sis. Wow, this is a lot bigger than I thought. I thought it was gonna be super, super tiny, like the size of the My Little Fairy Cosmes that I opened, but this is really big. Here are the cute accessories, which we'll open in a bit. This is called Playroom Story, and it says volume five, so this is probably one of the last ones that I should have opened, but it's all a surprise, so I wouldn't have known that from the packaging. The texture on this, I was not expecting this at all. I wasn't even expecting the gold foiling here. This is also really thick, which I love. And the pages, it has actual textures for the pages. I'm super, super happy with this and even more excited because I had no idea that they would be this big. In the graphic here, it's a little hard to tell what's going on, but Rilakkuma is lounging on what looks to be some sort of beanbag chair or pillow. And this little guy has some toys. I think that's a tape recorder. And I believe this little guy's name is Korila Kuma. I'm sorry if I'm butchering all of these names. So let's take a look inside. That is so precious. Look at the bear light. That is so cute. We got some bear balloons back there. Another picture of Korila Kuma holding a ducky and a teddy bear window. That is so, so, so cute. The wallpaper is also really cute. It's yellow with different colored polka dots. And we have these cubby spaces right here, which we'll fill with all the accessories that we got. 
so here is Karila Kuma. He is so cute. I'm actually not sure if it's a he or she. According to Google, it's an it. So it is so cute. The material is a little hard to tell. It's definitely plastic, but it feels a little bit heavier. It actually feels like polymer clay, but I know it's not because it has a seam right there. So this was definitely some type of mold, but it feels really, really nice. It doesn't feel cheap at all. And it feels handmade. I always appreciate things that are handmade. This little guy's name is Kiroi Tori. Again, same material. It feels a little bit like polymer clay. I am really loving these characters so far. And here is a cute little duck toy with wheels. This looks like the one on the front of the book, actually. There's this cute little chair. And there's a bear imprint right there. Very good detail. And we have these drawers that go in the little cubbies. There's a pink one, yellow one, and blue one. And on the front, they have initials. So here's a K for Korila Kuma, R for Rila Kuma, and a little teddy bear head. How cute. So now we can put these accessories inside the book. And I'm just gonna match it according to what it says on the box. So I'm gonna make it look like this. And here they are, so adorable. These little cubbies fit perfectly in there. It's like Legos, very satisfying. I also noticed the little balloon string here is an actual string, like it moves. Such good detail in this entire thing. And there's not a lot going on in here. It's very minimal, which is very consistent with Japanese design, but it's just so cute. And they put a lot of thought and effort into each of the furniture, the little imprint on the chair, the bare window, the bear lamp. It all just looks super, super adorable and I can't really find any more words to describe it other than cute, adorable, and kawaii. And now for the next one. Here's the same book design, same colors, same textures, but it's a different title. So this one is called Bedroom Story. And this one is actually volume one. So this is the first one in the series. And in here, it looks like Korila Kuma is sleeping and Kiroi Tori is being mischievous and trying to wake it up. It is a simple yellow room. It looks like a bedroom. There's a closet over here a bed, a clock with a teddy bear shape, a yellow wallpaper with yellow polka dots. It definitely has a yellow theme here. This one comes with a lot of accessories, firstly featuring Kori Lakuma again. This time it's in a sleeping position. It looks so cute and cozy. And we have an actual Rila Kuma doll here. She is laying on her tummy and she has a cookie that is so adorable. Again, the quality of this is so good. It feels really good in my hands and it looks handmade and hand painted, even though it probably wasn't. I like the fact that it looks like it. We have a yellow beanbag chair. This one is just very simple. We have a blanket and pillow and the pillow conforms to the shape of the bear. It actually kind of looks like chewing gum. There's this cute little bear outfit, which hangs in the closet. I love the detail on this, how they even put a zipper on the back and a tail. We have a ladder so they can climb up and get on the bed. And we have another tiny drawer, this one with another bear imprint on the front. Here they are assembled and they all look so adorable together. There's Karila Kuma sleeping soundly and I love how it fits perfectly on that pillow. The way that bear costume is hanging in the closet, it just looks so adorable. And there's Rila Kuma herself just enjoying her cookie, hiding behind the ladder. And on to the third one. This one is yellow this time, how exciting. I was hoping to get different colors, but instead of the gold foiling, it's just a very flat brown color, which is fine. It's still very cute. This one is volume six. So this is the last of the series and this is called Dresser Story. And I believe this is Rila Kuma and she has a hat of herself. 
Again, very, very simple. I love the wallpaper, how it's just white, but it has different colored polka dots. And another teddy bear window, but a different style. It has pink frames and yellow curtains. And it also has a little shelf. And here is a gigantic Rilakkuma doll, and she is wearing a hat of herself. The hat is on there, I don't think you can remove it, and I don't want to try because I don't want to break it. She also has a platform on the bottom so she can stand. Here is Kiroi Tori once again, so cute. I love that art style where the eyes are on the side of the mouth like that. It just looks really silly and adorable. Here is a potted plant, and the pot is in the shape of a bear, of course. We have a hat rack and a little hat to go on the rack. Finally, we have this full-length mirror with bare ears, and here's a reflective sticker that we're supposed to put on the mirror. So she's trying on her hat in front of the mirror, and presumably she'll switch up and try to wear that little hat right there. Kiroi Tori just appeared chilling with a plant. Now on to the fourth one. This is called Living Story and it is volume 2. Rilakkuma is just lounging in this one. Just chilling. Same yellow book without the gold foiling. But this brown looks really nice. I think that it goes really well with a yellow. It kind of looks like a banana. How cute and cozy is this? We have a light up here that looks like Kiroi Tori. We have pictures of Korila Kuma and Rila Kuma and Kiroi Tori. The whole family is here. There's a little yellow window. The wallpaper is white with yellow polka dots. There's a single shelf right there. I love this paneling right here. I think this makes this entire room look super cozy, like a cottage. And just a small flight of stairs. Here is Rila Kuma just chilling. She's got her legs up. She's probably watching Netflix. And here's Kiroi Tori who has this little duster, so it looks like it's cleaning something. Here is Rila Kuma's beanbag chair. She loves beanbag chairs. And her TV, which looks like a bear. I just love all this bear furniture. The power button is also a bear. I gotta say, Rila Kuma fits really snugly in that beanbag chair. I love how it just conforms to her body. And it turns out Kiroi Tori is actually dusting of the light. That is freaking adorable. And now for the fifth one. And we are back to the pink ones. This one is called Bathroom Story, and this is volume three. This one has Kurila Kuma and Kiroi Tori taking a bath. By the way, these don't snap closed, so when I put the stuff in there and display it, I have to kind of be aware that it can fall out at some point. But the hinge is pretty sturdy, so I don't think anything will fall out. This is the cutest bathroom ever. I love the tiles on the floor here. This little shelf where you can put your shampoo and all those things. The background, which is white with blue polka dots. And another bare window. So far, we've seen three bare windows, and I love how they just stay consistent with a the bare theme here. Here is Karila Kuma. It looks really happy, probably because... It's getting a bath. Who doesn't love bath time? My dogs don't. Here is Kiroi Tori and it's got a cute little floaty donut. Here is a teeny tiny bar of soap and a soap dish in the shape of a bear. We can't have a shower without an actual bathtub and shower. So here is the bathtub. It has bubbles. And here is the shower. And of course, it's in the shape of a bear. The bathtub actually has Rilakkuma's face on the front. Everything here is just so, so cute. Makes me happy. The 
This is the cutest, most fun bath time I've ever seen. Look at them in that tub. Look at all the bears. The bear aesthetics. And finally, we have the last box. This is called Gardening Story, and it is Volume 4. There's Rilakkuma and Korilakkuma. It looks like they're getting into all kinds of shenanigans here. It's pinching Rilakkuma's cheek, I think. That's really cute, but I'm confused. Somehow this one brings back so many nostalgic feelings right now. It reminds me of the show Little Bear and the show Franklin, which were both on Nickelodeon or Nick Jr. at the time. I just love the soft, summery colors. Amazing textures on this tree. Same thing with the hills in the background. There's wooden textures on the fence as well. And the grassy texture. There's also some bricks down here. Very nice. And just a few flowers here. Here's Rilakkuma with her gardening trowel. And here's Kiroi Tori with a watering can. Here is a bush in the shape of a bear. A pot with plants and flowers. A little wooden sign that says Nonbiri Garden. Again, I'm sorry if I'm pronouncing all of these wrong. Let's not forget a little bear right over there. This is kind of like finding those Mickey Mouse heads all over Disneyland. And lastly, we have a basket. This is definitely bringing back nostalgic feelings. Definitely Little Bear vibes. It looks so fun and summery in there. I love the color scheme so much. All of these definitely have the displayability factor, which again, is super important to me as a collector. Let's just take the time to appreciate Kirai Tori in that basket. Just chillin'. I'm gonna have to watch the show on Netflix now. There is a real Akuma show on Netflix, and this is really making me wanna watch that show. Here they are displayed in order, side by side. Here we have one, two, three, four, five, and six. I also noticed that each of these have a different font in the title, which is really, really nice. I love variety like that. And again, with a displayability factor, because I am going to display these closed on my shelf. They just look really, really cute together like this. I really wouldn't expect anything less from Rement and Sanrio combined, and together they are just so powerful in creating the cutest things ever, and I love that I was able to find this and add it to my collection. Sanrio is very near and dear to my heart. When I was growing up, I had a bunch of Sanrio things, and of course I have this Hello Kitty tattoo, so Hello Kitty is just my absolute favorite. And yes, one day I'm gonna get a Polly tattoo as well. I just haven't really had the nerve to get another one because this one was actually pretty painful, and of course tattoo shops aren't really open right now. I am very, very happy with this Rement set, and thank you for watching me open it, unboxing it with me, and I'll see you on my next toy collection showcase.